Hey you YouTubers, it's me Nero from Team Hazard and I'm here today gonna show you a deck review over my Herald Agents or Agents of Perfection or whatever y'all wanna call them. And uh, compared to many other uh, Herald Agent builds I've seen on YouTube, I think this one's pretty good, pretty consistent, pretty broken itself. Um, yes, the ban list did hit it pretty hard with of the Earths, but um, I'm trying to bring myself back up, trying to bring it uh, to be more consistent than it was before. And so yeah, let's get started on this uh, deck review because I'm short on time. So uh, let's do this. Okay, pretty much we've got the three Herald of Perfections, which are the heart and soul of this deck, the main purpose of this deck. Uh, we have our, since it's a hybrid, Herald Agents, Agents of Perfection, three Hyperions, meaning three Hyperions, okay, uh, two Arc Lord Christias, okay, those are the bosses of this deck, okay, now we have our Ritual Summoners and Enforcers, uh, Manju, Manju of the 10,000 Hands, we have the Hybrid of Agents Venus, three Venus, the counterpart, three Shine Balls, three Gachi Gachi, etc. etc. Uh, one Earth, yes, because of the limit, we're down to one Earth, but trying to recover from it. So I have some replacements for this, and they're working okay. Um, three Herald of Orange Lights, Negators, almost. Uh, effect veilers, I guess you could say, a little bit more of a cost, but they make sure your monster, the opponent's monster, doesn't use their effect. Honest marshmallow, one of the replacements for the Earths. Um, two Maxis, amazing in this deck build, lets you plus a lot and gets you farther to negate. Um, Neil Space and Grand Mole, my technician, and the third replacement for that third Earth is Sangan. So pretty much. Okay, now we're going to get going with our staples, spells, and traps. Okay. Move this out of the way here. Okay, let's get started. Um, three, Dawn of the Heralds. Summon your Herald. I don't use uh, advanced ritual art. I think this is the best way and most simplest way. Um, two preparation of rites. These very come very handy for fodder for you know your summoning. If this is the last thing you need, if you need just a herald of perfection to summon it or whatnot, it gets you fodder also. Uh, two part of dualities. Two is good. Three is a little bit of overkill in my opinion. One is not enough. So two is the perfect balance. Two, MST. Thinking of running uh, three MST actually because of the whole people expecting a heavy storm. So they prepare themselves with a full back row. But uh, two for now, it's, it's totally fine by me. Monster Reborn. Staple. Of course, these are standard, standard. Standard in this deck, I can say. Of course, it has to be mandatory for your Herald of Perfection, and this helps a lot. Um, Monster Reborn, you can use this, of course, for any good purpose at all, for a win, for anything. Also, I've used it to uh, take away my opponent's monsters from their grave, such as, uh, I don't know, any, any monster in particular that would help me get my, Don uh, my Herald of Perfection out without me having to waste any of my fodder. So when I remove from play Dawn of the Herald, which is a second effect, um, to be able to grab just the fairy that I use to tribute uh, for my Herald of Perfection. And there it goes, of course, back to the graveyard, but it's like I really didn't have to waste much at all. Um, Pot of Avarice, my recycling card, this card is a savior at the last minute if you've already wasted so much fodder on trying to negate things. Um, he brings you right back up and refreshes your grave and refreshes your, your hand and your, your deck. So he, he helps you out a lot. Uh, of course, heavy to get rid of that whole chock full of back row spells and traps that are unnecessary and whatnot. And then I don't really run much to none traps at all, just two. 
dimensional prison and a solemn warning solemn warning only one for the fact that i don't like wasting life points so much i mean of course we have to because of venus but that's the only reason why um i only waste about maybe max a thousand with venus and if i do recycle my shine balls and whatever i do waste a few more and then solemn warning of course knocks off 20 uh, 2000 of your uh, life points but of course you get to negate the summon of anything and uh, I only use it in an emergency, say I'm, I'm low on fodder, I only have like one fodder left and I know I need it for some, for, for any reason in particular, especially when you're using Herald of Perfection deck, you always need a minimal of two. But if you're with, left with one, one is totally fine, but never, ever, ever try to end up with zero fairies in your hand to negate things with. Always have some fodder. And... Uh, for any other kind of normal summon, special summon, if a monster has some kind of effect that's like, let's say, Black Rose or whatever, I wouldn't solemn warning it. I would just negate it with my Herald and just destroy it to get rid of it. But if it's something that really, really, really will topple me, whether it's by attack, like let's say it has higher attack than my Herald's defense, because normally Herald is a wall, um, I would just stop it. Or if it's like Dolka and I don't want to uh, deal with uh, Dino Rabbit's Dolka, I'll just get rid of it. And a uh, deep prison, dimensional prison, um, savior, of course, like, let's say I don't have solemn warning at the right moment, at the right time, um, I'll just, you know, they swing at my herald or whatever it is that I'm trying to protect, and they, of course, they will get sent to a different dimension, so, uh, get removed from play. And pretty much, um, this is just the overview, small overview over quick overview over my deck i'll be making a second video to explain um how everything works and also uh, just a few hits and tips if you guys want to uh you know if y'all actually want to mirror this deck or y'all can do of course which i i totally support um for y'all to start from scratch just like i did this was all from scratch except for buying that structure that got like a year ago but you know um yeah, I advise you go, you guys. Like, if you if you want to uh, know how this deck works, if you want to see how it works, um, I'll, I'm gonna make a, se a separate video, uh, second part, I guess I could make, um, explaining every single card, every single technique uh, that I use to get Herald on the field first, and uh, the advantages and disadvantages of this deck, and uh, so far how it's doing with the new um, format, 2012 format. So yeah, uh, thanks YugiTubers, remember to uh, subscribe, like this video, uh, favorite it, um, leave us a comment if you have any questions at all right below, and uh, yeah, this is me, Nero, uh, signing out pretty much, uh, you'll be seeing my second video up soon enough on the uh, rest of the tutorial over this deck. Alright, so um, signing out, Team Hazard, later.